In this video, I'm going to talk about another utility within Power Toys tool application called as Shortcut Guide. Now, there are many shortcuts within Windows application. Now, it is very difficult to remember all the shortcut. So, this tool provides an interface through which you can see those shortcuts in real time. Now, the shortcut for this is Windows Shift and uh, forward slash okay so if you have a keyboard which has a windows button this will be useful okay so if you press windows shift slash you will be able to see that uh, interface now what are the other features which you can set is you can set the theming you know you can set the opacity and you can exclude apps for shortcut visibility okay so let me show you in action how this things work okay so uh let me first go to uh, the Power Toys tool and show you the interface of Shortcut Guide. So Shortcut Guide, it shows a help overlay with the Windows shortcut. You need to first turn this on. Activation shortcut, as I mentioned to you, it's Windows Shift forward slash. And then appearance and behavior, you can pick up Windows default, light theme or a dark theme. And accordingly, you can set the opacity. Now, you can also exclude the apps. Uh, so it turns off the shortcut guide when these applications have focus. So example, if you have notepad.exe, if you are using notepad, then you don't want to see the shortcut. Yes, you can put notepad.exe over here and then it will uh, honor that request. Okay, so let's see it in action. What, what exactly it is. Now I'm in the desktop. Let me press Windows Shift and forward slash as you see over here it will give you a list of uh, say command action along with the shortcut now how to read this is uh, a a means open action center okay now let me uh, do an escape okay let me escape the screen okay now if i press windows a okay then it technically opens this action center as you see over here okay so it it opens that okay now similarly let me again go back windows shift slash uh, if i do windows e it opens file explorer okay so windows e will open a file explorer now if you see here the file explorer is opened so like that you can do whole bunch of uh, things with this command okay now these are all stock standard windows command okay sometimes some commanders commands are easy to remember like Control c Control v or those sort of things but then windows related specific command are very difficult to remember some of the command you which you may use regularly like windows v to open clipboard history or uh, maybe windows uh, dot to open the emoji panel you know those sort of things but there are other commands which you can use to uh, uh, run the windows command like windows run to run the dialog box and this one in the bottom okay now remember this all command works with windows and then appending this particular characters okay now similarly if you see here one two three four five six what does this mean is like in your taskbar you have applications opened right now this particular application if you want to trigger without even directly clicking or pointing by mouse you can do that by pressing one two three four five now how does that translate is now if you see in my taskbar the first one is a, a microsoft edge and second is uh, say windows explorer okay now if i press windows one then technically this particular uh, application should trigger okay windows one so i'm pressing windows one so this is open now the moment i press windows two explorer should open so windows two explorer has opened so like this we can uh, execute all this command okay so this is this is this tool or utility basically opens a pane which displays the list of windows shortcut okay so this is kind of a ready reckoner guide for you make sure that you use it uh, in your day-to-day -day work thanks for watching